We're gonna talk about creating pages, editing menus, and editing links. Now, I say it that way because that's the best order to do it in. A lot of customers start and they're working on their site and they say, okay, I wanna change my menu. So they come up here and they go right into edit menu. That can work and you can start editing your menu and create pages that way. But the best way to do this is to actually create your pages first. And it only makes sense if you think about it that you have your pages created before you try to create links to those pages. So if I'm gonna set up menu options that link to my pages, it makes sense that I have the pages built first. So we're gonna go ahead and build a couple of pages and you do that by clicking over here on new page. So I'll click the new page icon and I get several different options. I can create a totally blank page or I can create some predefined pages. We call them blueprints of different types of pages that you might like to create. So I'm gonna create, I'm gonna go into basic pages and I'm gonna create what we call a blank page with a small header. I'm gonna title my page, let's call it recommended reading. We'll go ahead and save this and it builds me a new page with a header up here. So now I want to title the page first. I'm going to click on this title area, highlight this and call it recommended reading. And then down here I have a blank group where I can begin to add content. I can do that by clicking the add section button here or the add section button right up here. They do the same thing. So I'll add a plain text group and it's gonna put some sample text in there. It's just some Latin text, which we can replace with our actual content. So I'll click in this. I'm not gonna create a, a whole bunch of content here. Just This is just to show you how to use the system. I'll highlight all of this using, uh, using Control A or Command A on a Mac, and I'm gonna start typing my text. And so we'll type, um, this is our recommended book for the month. And obviously I could type more text than that. I'm gonna highlight this, and change the font around a little bit. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Um, put a little blank space here and save my changes. I'm also gonna change the padding on the top of this, this group. So I'm gonna uh, hover over this group and go to the group properties. And under the layout, I'm gonna add a little bit of padding up at the top just to kind of get my text set apart there from the, from the header. And the last thing I want to do is maybe change the image behind my recommended reading uh, title. So I'll go to Group Properties up here. I'll remove the image that's there by default, and I'll choose a stock photo. And let's look at something having to do with books, since we're looking at recommended reading. I could choose maybe this image here. And I can put a little overlay opacity on this to make it stand out, my text stand out a little bit more and we'll save the changes. And when I'm done with this page and I'm ready to add links to it, I wanna click the Publish button. So I'll click that and publish my page into the system. So that's the simple way to add a new page. We created a page, we added some text to it, and now we want to add this page to our menu. So if I go hover over the menu area, you'll notice that an Edit Menu link drops down up here. So I'm gonna click on that, and I get several plus icons here. I, and a big one down at the bottom. I can use this big one to add a menu item that's at the top level hierarchy. So I'll click on that and title it Recommended Reading. And I can choose from many different types of, of links. I'm gonna choose one that's an existing page. I could also choose an external link. I could choose an anchor on my page. But the most common type you'll use is an existing page. And then I'm gonna search for my new page, which I titled Recommended Reading. And there it is. So I'm gonna choose it and save it to my menu. So now I've got this recommended reading link. If I save my menu, you can see it appear right up there. Now if I wanna move it around a little bit, I can drag it to a different location on the menu. Save it. And my recommended reading link now appears inside. If I want, I can also make it a sub-menu item of another menu, like this one here. So I'll drag it there and save it. And now my recommended reading link appears under the Explore option. Now the next thing we like to do is create a different type of link. Obviously there's more links than just menu links. There are other types of links throughout your site. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and click on our home page. And down here we have a tile menu. 
So let's say I wanted to make another tile and link it to that new recommended reading page that I just created. I can hover over this section and in my section properties for this tile area, I'll click on that and I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to add a new tile. And it actually drops it down below. I'm going to fix that in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and choose an image for the tile. Uh, it can be the same image that I chose for my picture header if I want, or I could choose a different one. I'll just choose the same one for now. And then I choose what page I want this tile to link to. So I can link to uh, different types of things. I'm going to say I just want to link it to a page, and I want to link it to my recommended reading page. So I start typing recommended reading, and I can choose it right there off the list. And the other thing I want to do is up at the top here, say instead of having three columns per row, I want to have four. That way all my tiles line up on the same column. I'll save my changes and I'll click on the title here so I can title this tile. Recommended reading and save those changes there. Then I can publish my page and my link is active to take the user to my recommended reading page. I'll show you a couple of other types of links that you might want to create. We'll go down to the bottom here and we're going to we're going to actually add a new group to this page. So we're going to click add group. We'll do it in empty group and standard is fine. And we'll add a text section to this group. So we'll say plain text. And I'm going to type in here click here to visit our church association website. And we're going to turn this text into a link. We'll add a little bit of space there to get it in the middle so we can see it. And uh, while I'm editing it, I'm going to click back on it again. I'm going to highlight the words click here. Now I can choose this insert link icon. And I can turn this into a link. This can be a link to a page on my site or it can be a link to a page somewhere else. So I'm going to say external link. And we'll say HTTP colon slash slash, and this isn't a real link, but www.mychurchassociationhomepage.com. And I can link that right there. And those words would now become a hyperlink that users could click on uh, to visit another link. Now, another option I can, I can pursue here, I can click on that hyperlink, and I can actually change this into a button. So I can choose a primary button type. And I can make that maybe a more attractive option for someone who wants to click on a link to, uh, to something within or outside of your site. So that's the, a basic overview of how to create links and menus, as well as how to create new pages for your site. If you have any questions, visit us at finalweb.com help.